Hi you guys, Angela Lynn here, March 20th of 2022. So I am making a um, another video to upload to my YouTube channels because the previous video that I um, made regarding the um, unfortunately very deceived and deluded uh, false prophet who goes by Kendall, whose real name is Keegan. Um, she recently put out a video a few days back, basically she's already her God through her, her, you know, that she believes is the most high God has threatened me and others, um, several times already, um, and cursed us a lot of witchcraft coming our way from their camp because we have been, uh, myself and another sister in Christ have been exposing her, um, for the false prophet that she is and the great deception and delusion that she's under. Um, and honestly, I feel, I mean, it's very heartbreaking because I, 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 you know, I know that she, truly has a heart to serve the father. I mean, you just don't give up as much as you've had, you, you have, uh, that sh like she has, if you don't, so, you know, I, I don't believe this woman's intentionally doing this, but there's something that was not right that allowed this deception and delusion to overtake her. Um, so, uh, anyway, she recently posted a video where she basically spoke with death over myself and others. Um, she was like, she was oracling or prophesying, um, in the spirit and said that, uh, now is the time that death will come to those basically that have not repented, um, for coming against her as the two witnesses. Um, she believes it herself and, uh, she believes she is supernaturally pregnant with the holy man child, uh, Eliyahu, who she thinks is Yahushua's son. And she's been in this state for over seven years now, uh, which I believe, uh, it's probably, I mean, it's both, I do believe it's both spiritual and physical. Cause I do believe the encounter that she had was real. Like I've listened to her testimony of these things many times over, but there was things that she left out of her testimony, um, that came to light from people that were part of what she, she would say is the inner circle you know, people that had met her in person, um, traveled with her across countries, um, and seen things that are not shared, uh, on her YouTube videos that she posts or with people that they reach out to, um, with these, you know, amazing prophetic oracles about people's destinies and callings or, um, you know, just saying that, you know, inquiring or reaching out to them to give and donate to their ministry, which, it's a cult would be the right word, not a ministry. Um, and it's people that I believe a lot of the people in there do have, um, true hearts to really serve the father and give up everything that they have for that goal. But it's very heartbreaking. Like I said, in the same token, because it's a, um, demonic, um, uh, spirit, uh, fallen angels that are leading those people that have those people in deception and delusion. Um, anyways, um, the video that I initially made was removed because I forgot that we don't have free speech on YouTube anymore. And I'm watched like a hawk, you know, my channels on YouTube are already shadow banned. Uh, but I do want to make sure this is uploaded to YouTube as well for, um, the YouTube channel that I've set up to expose this false ministry because back in September of 20, I'm sorry, actually it was before September of 21, 21. I misspoke on that. It was prior to that, probably several months back where they said, um, Kendall said, you know, that we need to repent. We're sending us messages that we need to repent. I need specifically me because the other sister had not written her book yet and her website uh, that she put together was not done yet. So the only thing that was available was the videos that I had uploaded on this YouTube channel. And so they had told me that I needed to repent uh, immediately by removing all the videos and that this basically needed to be done before Day of Atonement 2021, which is was in the fall of 2021. And it was spoken over us at that time that we were going to have judgment come on us like judgment of Korah. So apparently, you know, that didn't happen. So, you know, what this, these demonic entities do is, you know, give some reason or excuse to the people, the part of the ministry. Well, that didn't happen because Kendall's crying out for mercy and compassion upon them. 
And so they were given more time. And, you know, now they've said that now she said, now it's time that death's going to come to you that has not repented. And so my previous video that I did addressing this, um, I'm just was stating, and I'll state it again, that I cast those words to the ground. I cancel them in the name and authority of Messiah Yahushua and his resurrection power, the true Messiah, who is my king and ruler. Um, he will not let that happen to us because, you know, myself and others that have come out of this ministry have great callings. We have uh, big things that the Father has preordained for us to do in this time. And we, uh, the Father, is not going to allow you, Hasatan, to take us out before our time. So um, I'm not scared at all. Um, I'm not going to repent to a false god. Uh, to a fallen angel deceiving uh, somebody that he, you know, that they're Yahushua and the Father. Um, and so I just wanted to say that I forgive you, Kendall. I forgive you, Keegan, which is your real name. I forgive those connected to the ministry that have been, uh, you know, I mean, when even when you're, uh, they, you know, they think that they're doing good intention prayers, but because they're connected to heavenly demonic things, it's really sending witchcraft, you know, so that when they're speaking in tongues, you know, their giftings are corrupted because of, you know, they are in spiritual idolatry um, and rebellion and unrepentant sin. And so it is witchcraft um, and their prayers that go out are witchcraft. Um, so it's not blessing people. Um, if you're connected to that ministry it's not going to bring you blessings. It's only going to bring you confusion and hurt and, you know, bring curses into your life, um, connecting you to, you know, lying, deceiving spirits. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want to see the original video that I did uh, to address this, it's on my BitChute channel, which is bitchute.com slash Angela Lynn. And I guess YouTube took it down, like I said, because we don't have freedom of speech anymore. And I just mentioned about my current ministry and what I've been warning people uh, regarding the, over the past year. Is there anything else I should share regarding that? No. So I just wanted to, you know, let everybody out there know the few people that do watch this uh, or that have been contacted by this uh, false prophet and this ministry that, um, you know, these I do believe these people are true and well intentioned. They're just under delusion. So when you're under delusion, like a strong delusion, you don't know what you're believing is a lie. And they are having true supernatural, you know, grand experiences and encounters. But they're being they're sincere, but they're being sincerely deceived. Um, so it's harder to tell. Uh, when you're talking to these people, because it's not like they're, you know, they, they, they believe what they're saying. So again, I'm going to say that I, I forgive you. I'm sure the other people that came out of this cult and, uh, you know, false ministry, you know, forgive you, uh, for your false pronouncements over us because they have, you know, they're sitting here saying how much we've hurt Kendall. We, well, we've done nothing but share the truth to warn other people so other people aren't caught in this trap and snare um, and don't have, you know, their money stolen from them, don't have their time stolen from them, um, but praise the Most High that he is faithful to redeem the time that's been taken from us. And um, I do believe that one of the reasons the Father allowed me to go through this experience was for my training and to, you know, expose her and to understand um, some of these higher level end time deceptions that are going on um, because there are a lot of women that have been deceived thinking that they're the only bride of Christ, believing that they've been impregnated with the Holy Child, like Mary was impregnated, um, believe a lot of men and women uh, that, you know, have been deceived, believing that they are the two witnesses. Uh, and it's, it's just heartbreaking. Um, but I can tell you that I'm not going to die. I decree and declare that I will live and not die, but declare the works of Yahuwah Elohim. Uh, and I will continue to be blessed because uh, Father is for me. He is protecting me uh, and he is not angry at me. Your father, the devil, or Hasatan Lucifer, you know, your father, Kendall, and I know that's not what you believe, but it is, that is the truth. 
Um, and he is the one that's angry at me. That's why he, you know, from what I understand, they would always tell people behind my back that was like, you know, in the inner circle that Angela's always screwing up. Angela's never going to get it. And then towards the end there, when they, you know, uh, brought me, you know, closer into the ministry and I gave away everything that I had except for a few outfits and was, you know, working, giving 100% of my income to the, to the ministry, 100% of donations that came into my ministry to this ministry. Um, and they were calling, they were saying behind my back that I was a witch and a Judas while they're still, you know, taking from me. Um, so that was crazy um, to find out. And I'm like, yeah, this woman's definitely not who she believes she is. I mean, it's just completely, you know, bipolar spirit. And I've shared some of the ex narcissistic bipolar, you know, just crazy stuff. And I've shared some of the experiences and testimonies of that in some of my other videos on this particular YouTube channel. Um, the last call of YHWH in time deception is I think what I named it. Um, so yep, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you have a blessed day and shalom.